this thing off-roading before and I was like, here? <laughs> we are back! <laughs> you better drive. Attending the original Barrett Jackson Collector Car Auction in Scottsdale, Arizona has become somewhat of a family tradition. My dad and I attended our first one back in January of 2005, and my dad hasn't missed a single one of these in 18 years. For an automotive enthusiast, this is quite arguably the mother of all car shows. Being the huge Mustang fan that I am, I have been anxiously awaiting to catch my first glimpse of the newly redesigned 2024 Ford Mustang. This particular Mustang happens to be the Dark Horse, which includes a more powerful version of the fourth generation Coyote V8, putting out an astounding 500 horsepower and 418 pound-feet of torque, which makes this the most powerful 5.0 V8 that's ever been produced by a Mustang from the factory. I really like the fact that they didn't change the new Mustang much from its previous version, but did update it with some more aggressive styling cues. I also love the fact that while other main brand car manufacturers are venturing more into the electric market for their performance cars, Ford is keeping the Mustang tried and true to its roots, still offering this with an available naturally aspirated V8 engine and an available six-speed manual transmission. Check out this Mach-E real quick. Uh, pretty roomy. This may look like a power wagon, but it is not. The Ram 2500 Rebel. It's like a power wagon without the front locker. Kind of confused really as to why they came up with this. I mean, it costs more than a power wagon. Basically just a trim level. This is the Earth Roamer SX, a custom-made overlanding and adventure vehicle that uses a heavy-duty truck as the platform for taking a fully enclosed camper to places that no ordinary camper could. Built with sustainable full-time or extended living in mind, these do not come cheap. This particular model, based on the Ford Super Duty platform, comes in at a whopping $800,000.
and Vice President of America's Promise Alliance to the stage. Please give him a pair of jacks and welcome. This is rare. Yeah, 68 with a 427. Camaro RSSS. Normally a 396 is found in these, and this has a 427. 396 is usually the largest you find in these. Oh, they're about to auction one, huh? I know, but. The one that's like right up here. The one. The Hudson with a Viper engine. <laughs> I forgot his name. <laughs> Lawrence? Something? No. Martin Lawrence, yeah. Well, but it doesn't say anything about it. With an inline six, 3.8, it would go how fast? 150? Sure looks uh, aerodynamic enough. <laughs> All right, we got a 55 Thunderbird with out of an S550. Yeah. 2021 SRT Challenger Hellcat. Oh, it's not. That's the. Uh, they just made it look like it is. What? It's, this is a newer one. This is a 2021. They just extended the metal out to give it the effect of the old Charger. But inside, it's. Because if you look right here. Yeah. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. Very cool though. Very retro. H means it's a rental? Hurst. Hurst. Hurst rent a car? Hertz? Hertz. Hertz. Yeah, you said. H E R T Z. You said Hurst. Uh, yeah. You're saying this was made for Hertz rent a car? Uh huh. What? All of them they were black with gold striping. Got an original K5 Blazer here sitting next to an original Ford Bronco. Side original, by side. Original body styles. Not the first gear. Yeah. Bob's car coming out. Bob, Bob, Bob. Hey, they're on the cross. So this is a 63 Corvette with a split window and the fuel injected version. Yeah. Now you can't see the split windows, but yeah. We can walk around all the There's that split window. 63 was the first year for that? For that body style. So many people didn't like the uh, split window coming down, blocking off their uh, rear view vision. Yeah. That uh, in 64, they did away with it and just had a, a totally window oh. wrapped all the way around. So not a lot of people like that split roof, but... Yeah. Which makes this one rare. But this, the rest of them, which they made this all the way through 67, they had the full, the full window. 
so that makes the 63s very rare. To have a fuel injected, 63. And the split one. Yeah. Wow. Even in 63, uh, it came out like the uh, 64s, which had the full window. A lot of guys went in and walked in front of the window and had it. And there's modified. Oh, with the. So they cut out that part and just put the window all the way across. Hmm. Interesting. So they, uh, uh, they ruined it. <laughs> Here's your full window one. My power wagon. Not really. It's, it's white. It's it's black and white, but it has a uh, 6.7 liter Cummins, the diesel that everyone wants to put in one of these. But you can have it right here. Got a Roush power plant. Hundreds. Huh? Would you buy it? I would, if it was off road capable. Right. These last two cars may not have sold for too much, relatively speaking, but they are a couple of my favorite cars from the 1990s. The first is the 1992 Dodge Stealth RT Twin Turbo. Sharing the same platform as the Mitsubishi 3000 GT, the Stealth is powered by a twin turbo, 3 liter, 24 valve, dual overhead cam V6 engine, producing 300 horsepower and 307 pound-feet of torque, which were respectable numbers for the time. And combined with an all-wheel drive system for amazing grip, this car was way ahead of its time. 
During my teenage years, my parents owned what I think is the baby brother to this car, a 1992 Eagle Talon TSI all-wheel drive, which is also the same basic car as the Mitsubishi Eclipse and Plymouth Laser from 1990 to 1994. The Dodge Stealth RT Twin Turbo was basically an Eagle Talon on steroids, and this is a beautiful, immaculately preserved example of one having only 5,000 original miles. In 1992, Dodge set the performance bar even higher than their coveted Stealth. Here is a prime example of a 1994 Dodge Viper RT10 Roadster. The Viper trounces the Dodge Stealth's 300 horsepower by a whopping 100 horsepower with its massive 8-liter V10 engine producing 400 horsepower and 480 pound-feet of torque, which are still amazing numbers even for today. The styling still looks amazing and in my opinion is one of the most beautiful cars ever created. This emerald green model has only 6,900 original miles and was one out of only 133 created in 1994 that were made in green. Want to see what the bottom of a Shelby GT350 R looks like? Here's your carbon fiber wheels. X pipe. Well, that's it for Barrett Jackson 2023. See you next see year. Ya. <laughs> next year. Well, we'll see you hopefully before next year. We'll see you on the next video. So hit the bell to be notified of that. And if you enjoyed this content, consider subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you next time.